So I was reading this story on Yahoo Finance. Usually I bounce between a number of uh, financial uh, channels during the beginning of the day and at the end of the day when the uh, bell rings and the uh, stock market closes. And um, everybody who knows me knows that I was talking about people investing into Tesla way back in 2012. I made a lot of money in Tesla. If you probably remember back in 2012, I think it was November, um, I released the video of the Model S P85. That was long before they had the, the D models, which had all-wheel drive. And I was trying to get you guys interested in the idea of electric cars way back then, because as soon as I drove the Tesla Model S, I knew that that car was going to be awesome. In fact, let me find it right quick, just so you can see what I'm talking so about. I'm here with um, yeah, that video is, let's see, uh, Tesla P85 Big Truck. It's amazing how many videos I've made. But this was, yeah, six years ago, as you see, six years ago, seven, and this shit only got 7,000 views, but hey, whatever, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. But the thing about it is, um, I knew Tesla was going to do well the moment I drove this car. And the reason why, it was actually pretty simple. I was like, you know what, finally... There's an electric car that's big enough for the entire family. Because what ended up happening was back then, the only real competitors was the Fisker Karma, the Nissan Leaf, and I believe it was the Chevrolet Volt. And those things were so small and shitty. It was like so boring. It's like, I didn't want that. And um, most people, I think back then, they weren't really interested in those things. So basically, when I had made this video right here, I believe I took out one of these cars, and uh, it was the P85, and I did a driving video with it. In fact, that, that video right there is not it, because I've made a lot of videos. This was it. Six years ago, Insane Celebration, I drove the P85 right there, so I did one video right there. I got, what, um, I got more views on that video. And then I also drove the Ludicrous Modes to make videos... So, basically, you get my point. But I've driven all of the Teslas, and I've been paying very close attention to electric technology. As you know, I've been investing in Chinese electric vehicles, and I've been investing in some of the charging infrastructures. Um, we're not supposed to give financial advice and stuff on YouTube, but I'll just say what I'm doing with my money. So, um, anyway, uh, the story was, if you had invested a th just $1,000 in Tesla one decade ago, this is how much it would have been. So it says, uh, how much, uh, now they're fine. Here's the thing. First of all, I should put this in context. The reason why they're talking about Tesla again is they finally managed to start rallying back. Not because of Elon Musk's investment in Bitcoin, because Bitcoin right now is still well below where Elon Musk bought into it. I believe right now Bitcoin is fucking 30, okay, it's 39,000. Elon Musk's purchase into Bitcoin was like in the 50,000 range, right? So, no, Tesla is doing better because Tesla has widened the deliveries of the Model Y and the Model 3. Um, there are new countries receiving it, and they've also expanded deliveries of it. I've been noticing a lot of Teslas on the road, and um, ultimately, um, that's the Model 3 and the Model Y are what's making Tesla its real money. They've made those cars fucking super cheap. They barely have any buttons in them. They only have the monitors, and that's about it. And honestly, if I had to buy an electric car for myself, I would prefer um, the Hyundai Ioniq or even the Hyundai Kona or even, um, what is it, the Volkswagen ID4 because Tesla's gone so cheap on those damn cars that the only people who buy into them are people who otherwise would have just bought shitty four-cylinders and shitty six-cylinders, and that would have been all they had to drive. So if they have enough money, they'll buy into a Tesla because they know that now at least they don't have to pay these sky-high gas prices where regular unleaded is still over $3 right now here in New York, for example. Uh, Uber drivers are loving Tesla. So ultimately, Tesla's doing better. Now, they say, yeah, how much the stock price can change over time. For most investors, since price performance can both impact your investment portfolio and help you compare investment results across sectors and industries. Another factor that can influence investors is FOMO, or fear of missing out. So what they're saying is there's some people who invest in things not because they understand it, just because they're afraid that if it increases in value that they're going to miss out. Now, they do go into talking about Tesla's business. 
ultimately, I can sum it up because I've been with Tesla for so long that I can sum it up by saying uh, Tesla wasn't really profitable until they built the Model Y and the Model 3. And in order to be profitable, they made those cars as cheap as possible. The only downside is that because Tesla isn't a real big automaker, not like Ford GM and Cadillac and whatnot, or Ford GM, Chrysler, Cadillac, Porsche, uh, all of those other bigger makers are able to do more in their vehicles than Tesla can, even though Tesla is spearheading the ideas of electric vehicle technology. Um, they're saying that a $1,000 investment made in 2011, now mind you, this is actually before I drove the Model uh, S performance. They're saying 2011, it would be worth right now for every $1,000 you put in, if you held on to it and you even held on to a post-stock split, right now you would have $130,466. Now, what they don't tell you is the value of the stock at that point. When I got my Tesla stock, it was worth $30 a share. So if I look at Yahoo, uh, Tesla stock, if you look at Tesla's max, um, if they're saying 2011, August 2011, yeah, that's 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 kind of ridiculous. They're, they're talking about August 2011, Tesla was $5 a share back then. Now, this is why I hate these goddamn uh, fake-ass gurus who are on the internet. Because for you to just say the month of, you need to tell the people how much the shares were worth. Because if you don't tell them that, then they can't do the mental math. Now, everybody knows Tesla's worth $711 right now. But how would you know where the person bought in unless you did exactly what I did and you went back? It's so stupid. I, I hate these people, honestly. I really do. These people do not understand. These gurus, these fake-ass gurus, they do not understand how to explain basic math to the people who are reading or how to explain advanced math. They can't do either. But anyway, it says... Um, yeah, if you had invested $1,000 when Tesla was at $5 a share, you would have been worth $130,000 or more right now. So, this return excludes dividends, but it includes price appreciation. Now, first of all, Tesla doesn't pay a dividend. That's my biggest problem with Tesla. But they had the share uh, splits, and what when the share split, I believe it was a five to one split or four to one split. What ended up happening was uh, more and more people rushed into the stock because of the excitement. So even though you get no dividends, the thing about it is um, the split did really seriously increase the value of Tesla very, very quickly. Um, back during the uh, first quarter of 2020, that's when Tesla hit $1,000 for the first time. I remember a long time ago, I was contemplating whether or not I was going to sell my Tesla stock at $300. A lot of people told me, yeah, you should sell it. I didn't bother selling it because I didn't need the money, so I just held it. But when it hit $500, $600, I was really excited for it to hit $1,000. And ultimately, it became clear to me that because of Trump's tax cuts and because of the Federal Reserve's uh, pullback on interest rates, it occurred to me that just about all of these major corporations were going to go for the trillion dollar valuation and they were going to do everything they could to make sure that their 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 market cap hit a trillion dollars. So as you can see, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple's worth like two something trillion dollars, but everybody else is trying to follow in that model. So that means, uh, you know, just about everybody else, Google, Amazon, so forth and so on. Okay, so they're talking about Tesla hitting a milestone in 2021. What I don't think they mention is how quickly that shit dropped after Elon... Because I, I must be the only person on YouTube constantly talking shit about how much damage Elon Musk did to Tesla stock by investing in Bitcoin. I must be the only person talking about it. In the very beginning, oh, he's a genius. Oh, man, this guy builds rockets. He knows what he's doing. I told you from the very beginning, I didn't give a fuck that it was worth... Um, I didn't care how much it was worth. I, I said, you know what? Wait a minute. This is a bad fucking idea. 
And nobody else would jump on that bandwagon and say it with me, but I knew it was a bad idea from then on. That's why it dropped from $880 to the $710 or the $711 that it's at now. And it hasn't gotten back to the $880. That Look at the stock. Look at the uh, history. The shit was right. It was trading at $880. Now, what do I say about Tesla? Do I think it's a buy or do I think you should short it? Bottom line is with Tesla, the thing, the major thing that you have to understand is that Tesla is going to open up, te, let me see, Tesla to open superchargers. They're going to open up their supercharger network to everybody else. That's the important thing. Tesla is going to open up their supercharger networks to everybody else. Now, if they're allowing all these other people with these regular non-Teslas to charge in their networks, you can bet that they're going to be charging higher fees for it, but you can bet that most of those people are going to make use of those fast charges, especially with Tesla um, pushing uh, step three charging. And they, they, I think they go up to a 480 volts. And uh, they're trying to even make it more powerful than that so that you can recover like 30 miles of range within like, I'm sorry, three, 100 miles of range in 30 minutes. So the bottom line is, yeah, I would say Tesla is still worth buying. The problem is you don't know if there's going to be any dips in it because as you saw within the last couple of months, it dipped into the $500 range. So that was actually a decent time to buy. Some people did buy in then, but um, the bottom line is once they open up the supercharger network, I, I predict that their, their stock is really going to move forward really quickly then. Um, because at that point, now you're going to have profits coming from all people with these EVs, you know. And the thing that I, I have to say before I go, the thing that bothers me about Tesla, there is nothing about Tesla that couldn't have been done by NASA or a government entity. Tesla has benefited because of corporate welfare and Tesla has benefited from government subsidies more than any company that I can think of in recent memory. I, I, it's funny because I remember when Obama was in office and the Republicans kept trying to bring up Solyndra and they kept trying to talk bad about Solyndra and oh yeah well oh the, the liberals did that so my thing is it's like Tesla has benefited way more than the solar companies and they're giving you cheap shitty interiors and the only cars that are fast or really really fast and, and granted the regular cars are okay but they're giving you shitty interiors, and then they're charging $150,000 for the car you actually want. So in my opinion, it's like, that's what corporate welfare looks like. Elon Musk, here's a question. Where would SpaceX, where would Tesla be if they weren't getting all these government subsidies? If the government handed me billions of dollars in subsidies, I would have gotten us to the fucking Mars and Pluto and Jupiter and all the other planets that the Coinbase Redditors wanted to go to. But you'd have to hand me billions of dollars and then trust that I would actually get it done. Yeah, it could be done, but I can't do it unless you're giving me welfare checks in that size. So that's my issue. But uh, not to sound bitter or anything, I'm really disappointed that we didn't get higher. And I really, really believe that the, part, the real reason for that was because of betting on that stupid shit Bitcoin. And Elon Musk is always going to have his face on that, even if people like MSNBC and CNBC and Fox Business News stop talking about it. Just because you stop talking about it doesn't mean I'm going to stop talking about it.